Over the last decade or so, we developed a technology that enables us to use the largest uh, clean energy that has been unused, which is waste heat. So waste heat is the form of energy that you can find uh, in power plants, uh, oil and gas facilities, industrial facilities, cement factories, even from the sun or geothermal uh, sites. Uh, and these days, more and more from data centers, AI. So these are categorized as uh, uh, energy sources with temperatures below around 100 degrees centigrade and that you cannot really do much with that except a space heating. So about 60% of energy on the planet becomes waste heat and we don't use it. So that's why I said this is the largest uh, energy, uh, untapped energy uh, that we have. So this machine enables us to convert that uh, waste heat to value added cooling. This is a sorption heat transformer which has uh, four main components. We have an evaporator, which is a chamber here that where, where the cooling is generated. Uh, we have two reactor beds, which contains the uh, active material or the composite that we develop. Um, uh, this material, the system will uh, use uh, heat to generate the effect in the evaporator for cooling and also generate an effect for heating on the condenser. This is a thermodynamic cycle or a cycle that um, constantly generates cooling here and heating on the condenser. So you can actually get a double effect. Uh, not only cool your um, room, you can also heat your domestic hot water or use the heat for uh, some other application. With this technology, uh, when it scales up, we can use the existing infrastructure, which has waste heat in summertime, and use it on the spot and generate cooling and provide cooling to buildings that are connected to district heating at first step. When we hopefully uh, increase the technology uh, readiness for market, uh, we bring it to a scale up, to a scale up uh, sizes. We are hoping to introduce, introduce this uh, even for single family homes or for um, industrial application where they have waste heat and they need cooling. So there are a lot of application of this, but very first step is to work with the city, City of Burnaby to integrate this in their upcoming um, district heating system.